we close that gap up and it's pretty good we got it pretty good it's a little high there it's a little high there it's not too bad but we have to get this tape off you can't leave masking tape on for any length of time because the glue and the tape will dry up and it becomes very difficult to remove I've seen vessels sitting on museum shelves with tape all over them. You don't want to do that. It's okay to use tape, but you've got to soak it off, and you've got to soak it off within a couple of days of application. Now, I haven't used a lot of these commercial products in a long time, so I did a little test. This is a non-chlorine bleach. You don't want Clorox or chloride or chlorine on your pottery. It will destroy the pigments. It can. No Clorox, ever. Not on bones, not on pottery, not ever. This product works pretty well. But I haven't used it in a few decades, so I did a little test. And uh, I went a little heavy on the soap, because I wanted to make sure it didn't damage anything. And I put in a few of the pieces that did not go to this vessel. And you can see it's removed quite a lot of that charcoal. You don't want to rub too much, but let's see here. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. I, you can soak it long. You got to be careful. You don't want to soak it too long. Yeah, see that coming out? Look at that. Look at that. That's working. That's the stuff we want right there. Now, I could soak that longer and get more off, but I'm more concerned about getting this tape off. The vessel will get a little bit of a cleaning uh, in getting the tape off, but we're not done yet. So it's going to get cleaned a couple of times. We're going to get this into a warm, non-chlorine, non-Clorox soap and soak this tape off. That's what we're going to do today. Water. Just about, you know, lukewarm is good. And to cover that vessel, this thing's going to have to be quite full container. But uh, Humidity in the lab is about 35% right now, and all of this acetone-based glue has had a long time, at least a couple of days, to set up nice and solid, and the soaking should not hurt that. Let's see if this submerges nicely. Okay, it's gonna have to be a little deeper. That's okay. And let's not forget to put in our other little pieces. Let's put in our little pieces that uh, might as well get them a, a little bath so everybody's on the same page. It's done soaking when, you, when the tape literally falls off. And then we give it a nice rinse and we're going to let it dry uh, at least a couple of days. And it's still not quite under, almost. That's good enough. We're done. I'll see you tomorrow.